Over the last couple of days, since the news has broke that the £28 million women's and children's unit located here two years ago based upon clinical need was formally put at risk and the 24-hour, seven-day-a-week A&E was also put at risk. There's been lots of reaction, lots of claims, lots of counterclaims. But first, from the outset, let me just talk on behalf of large swathes of Shropshire that um, the PRH serves, including Self and Reekin and Self and Reekin Council itself and me personally. We have no issue with our doctors, our nurses, our support staff and all those healthcare professionals that work so hard in our NHS. This is not a battle with them. The future fit process should be fair, legal, transparent. And it's been none of those things. And the health bosses locally, but also that Jeremy Hunt, the Secretary of State for Health, has got a moral obligation to ensure that any decision that's made is in the interests of the whole of the population of Shropshire. It's based upon fair and legal rationale. And at the moment, we do not think it is. We ask you to pledge your support for the PRH for Me campaign. We ask you to write to your MPs in Shropshire to make the case for better and fairer funding for our NHS. We ask you to support our calls for a fair and legal process. And let me be very clear, Telephone Recon Council will do all it can to ensure that the process is fair, that investment comes into the health economy here in Shropshire. And in court, of course, we will take this matter to court if needs be. But it doesn't have to be like that. Health bosses and the health secretary could stop this fiasco today by intervening now and enter into that constructive dialogue and ensure that their decisions are fair and transparent. And we also need additional funding for our National Health Service. We are underfunded um, as a county. So please join with me, prhforme.co.uk, and let's work together for a fairer health system here in South Rican and across Shropshire.